What is up noobs and noobettes, Charles Tingley here and welcome back to another video guys. Today is actually going to be another tip video. It's actually a big tip I'm going to give you guys for the Volk Assault Rifle and pretty much it's going to make its epic variant be obsolete or useless in other words and I'm talking about the Goliath variant, the one that makes it a single shot weapon with increased damage. So uh, let's jump into some testing and show you guys what I mean. Okay, thank you to my friend Occupied Boss for helping me with these tests. Firstly, what I'm going to do is show you the technique I'm talking about and then show you a few other tests just to explain why it's a lot better than the Epic variant. So this is me spraying the weapon to show you just how much recoil it has, especially at long ranges. And now this is me doing the technique. As you can see guys, if you just tap the weapon, you're able to minimize the recoil as much as possible. The Volk begins to recoil on its second or third shot. So you constantly tapping it like this means you're avoiding the recoil and you're able to get kills from longer range. Look, I know there was still a bit of recoil, so let's test it out with foregrip now just to show you guys how lethal this technique is. Alrighty, again, I'm going to spray to the left of him to show the recoil. It's noticeably better with foregrip, and as you can see here, look at that shit, man. It pretty much does not bounce whatsoever, and you're able to get those single shot kills from a very far distance. Now what I'm going to do is switch over to the Volk Goliath. This is the epic variant that makes it a single shot weapon and it basically allows you to get a two shot kill at some ranges. And this is me spraying it at full speed. And now this is me shooting at my friend and finishing him off. As you can see, it does melt him pretty quickly. But now I want to show you guys something. So firstly, let's see just how far the two shot kill range is with this Volker Light. So I'm going to test for multiple ranges. It's still a three shot kill from over here. Now let's move on a little bit forward at Tingley. What the fuck are you doing? All right, here we go. Taking the next three. Uh, next two sorry and as you can see it's still not a two shot kill now trying from this distance it finally became a two shot kill however guys at this distance most other assault rifles are very lethal and odds are they're going to be tagging you causing you flinch and you're not going to be able to keep your shots on target okay now i'm going to show you guys just how quickly you can shoot this thing as a single shot weapon and still be lethal with it so just waiting for my friend to get back here as you can see here check it out dude that is fucking insane, man. If you have a good trigger finger or even a decent trigger finger, this thing is ridiculously good at killing people at long range with this technique, man. I'll even have a side-by-side -side of the Goliath and the base variant, and you guys can see, man, the results are obvious, dude. Okay, now I'm just going to show you guys the different three-shot kill ranges of the Volk. This is it with Particle Amp, and as you can see, it's pretty insane. Okay, next up I'm going to test it without particle amp and without a silencer. Let's see what the three shot kill range is. This is pretty much how far you can get a three shot kill from. And as you can see, it's pretty insane, man. It's about five meters closer than the particle amp, I would say. And last but not least, we have the Volk with a silencer. I always thought the silencer penalizes the Volk a lot and let's find that out. So this was about the range we were able to get with the particle amp. And now this is the range we're able to get it with without particle amp. As you can see, the silencer definitely does reduce the damage range. Now let's move on a little bit closer to this desk and let's see how we go, man. Let's shoot this motherfucker and see if he dies. No, he does not. So it's obvious the silencer does penalize you a decent amount. Now let's try it out from this range. And what do you fucking know? You get a three shot kill, guys. I would say a silencer reduces your range by about 10 meters and compared to particle amp, it's about 15 meters. Okay, so based on these tests, we can confirm three things. Firstly, the base model Volk with a foregrip is an excellent single shot weapon at long ranges. It pretty much has close to no recoil and is very lethal as it's always at most a four shot kill. Secondly, the Volk Goliath is very disappointing compared to the base model in my opinion. So firstly, at long range, you guys could see if you have a half decent trigger finger, you can pretty much kill the enemy quicker than you can with the Volk Goliath, which is unacceptable. It is an epic variant and it should be at least noticeably better than the base model. And lastly, using the Volk with a silencer compared to a particle amp is a pretty big difference. However, using it with a particle amp compared to no particle amp is not that big of a difference. So it's up to you guys. I personally would either use a silencer or a particle amp, but you don't feel like you're penalizing yourself if you're not using a particle amp. Also, some of you might think, hey, the Volker Life is able to get a two shot kill, man. That's pretty fucking insane. But let's face it, guys, you saw the range that it gets a two shot kill at. And in my opinion, 
Most other assault rifles are a lot more lethal at that range. And even the Volk, you can get a three shot kill at that range, even with a silencer. So why would you want a single shot weapon over a gun that's fully automatic and can kill in one more shot? So in my opinion, the Volker life is pretty useless and the base model Volk pretty much beats it out in all ranges and in all aspects so that's just my thoughts guys let me know what you think i was actually dumb enough to buy the volk goliath with 4000 salvage and now that i see these tests it was definitely a waste guys if you are looking to buy an epic variant of the volk then make sure you go with the corruption it's now available to buy with salvage so you guys should definitely go for that Either way, man, that's pretty much it for this video. If you found it useful at any point or you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. You guys are fucking awesome. Also, if you have any questions or any comments to make about the video, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below. That's pretty much it for this vid. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next one. Until next time. Don't fucking buy the Goliath, dude. Peace out, noobs.